All right. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. We are back in the studio and we have a few special guests with us. We have obviously Jared. I'm here. He's always here. <laughs> we have Denny as well joining us. Don't worry. I, I got you. I got you. Welcome, Denny. And then we have, if you listen very carefully, we are actually joined by an interdimensional being. These are the ones confirmed by the government. Um, his name is Jason. And Jason, if you're here, uh, please go ahead and communicate with us. Am I supposed to be Jason? You're going to be Jason, unless you want to be, you know, yeah. the other name. I can be the other name. Okay. Yeah. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure. I forgot to ask you that. So, uh, yeah. Josh, the interdimensional alien, is here. He's going to be speaking to us uh, off camera. We can only hear him. We don't have the technology to see him. So that's what we're going to uh, do for this episode. Mark is also here, and he's invisible, and he'll start talking when he feels like it. But we are going to be doing something a little different this episode. We're going to be talking about sports. Many of you have requested that we talk about some sports more often. So that's what we're going to do. And Mark is rude as hell interrupting. Speak of the devil. Mark is here. What's up, Mark? How you doing, buddy? Hey, Mark. This is real Mark, by the way. You know, not M-R-A-R-C. It's like, uh, you know, the real Mark. And then you're your own cigar? Oh, my God. Uh, you owe me one of those. Okay. Anyway. There he is. So Danny and Josh are here. We're going to talk about football Some more. I think we're going to talk more about football. This segment. More about football. We believe that the American public most interested in football. People are pretty much counting down the days until football season. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. Baseball may be the American pastime, but football is definitely the, uh, the American interest. Yes. present time. Absolutely. Real quick. Uh, I'm smoking the Julius Caesar's gifted to me by Denny. Appreciate that. Got it. Uh, and then the two, let's see, Jared and Denny are smoking the base of cigar. Denny's smoking it for the first time. And he's enjoying it very, very much. And Mark uh, stole what? one of my United cigars. It's really your first time smoking a base? It is. I like it so far. Yeah, Don't like judge. <laughs> I like it a lot. And what are you smoking, Josh? I busted out the uh, CAO session for this. Very nice. That session. is a good smoke. And uh, all right, so we're just going to get right into it. Um, I have no idea who your favorite uh, football team is, actually. Right? Yeah, no idea. No, I don't, let's none. see if the audience can guess. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll see. We'll see. Um, Patriots. It's a good team. They used to be Patri a good team. It used to be a good team. <laughs> right. I hear, I hear about it all the time. Yeah. All the time. At least I'm not a Giants fan. Ask <laughs> Ask him who his favorite team is. <laughs> are, are, you you a, are you a Giants fan? <laughs> what, because you would have actually won two Super Bowls instead of lost two? We won six, though. I would say it once, yeah. I mean, but we won two against them. Right, I know. Aren't you a Giants fan? They did have 18 no, wins that one year. Yeah, yeah, I I'm like it, man. Fan. Great. Actually, it's a funny story. I'm a Patriots fan because um, when, I, when I was a kid, when the Patriots first faced the Giants, my own Joe was taking us to a, a Super Bowl party. So he, as he's driving there, he turns around. He's like, "Who you guys rooting for?" My cousin Zephyr goes, "The Patriots." And I was like, "Yeah, me too." <laughs> and uh, that's how I became a fan. <laughs> good, good, smart. So man. group, group think, group think, group thought. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark's very into the group think. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So we wanted to go over the over under wins totals for each team this year. Vegas sets the line every year. And you get to bet whether over or under. We want to kind of dispute or agree on what they have here uh -huh. for the odds. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna run us through that. We could run. You know, you got that way. You get every team involved. I mean, we could start with the first team if you want. Yeah, we'll just go right down the list. All right. It's, so the Patriots are truly America's team, <laughs> but we'll start with what they call America's team, Dallas. <laughs> right. What do you, What are your thoughts, Joshua? Who? Dallas. Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys are at the top of the list here. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. It's your year this year. Right? I think it's the... the <laughs> every year's their year. <laughs> every year's their year, right? Yeah. So why are they at nine and a half wins? I just think there's always off-season tur turmoil with everybody. You didn't know at the end of the season last year whether or not, you know, they were going to bring McCarthy back. They were talking about his job halfway through the year. Um, you know, 
there's always drama involved when your GM is your owner. Right, right, right. So nine and a half wins. That's barely a playoff team. What do, what do you think? Do you think it's over or do you think it's under? I'm going to go over on that one. Interesting. They have the talent. They got, you know, they have like they, every year. Yep. Yeah, yep. they have the talent. And but this year is better. This yeah. year is much better. This year's their year. This yeah. is their year. <laughs> every year. year. For the well, audience, though, how do you have nine and a half wins? Where does the half come from? Well, that's how they do for betting. So there's no oh, push. Okay. That way you're either if you go 10, you win. If you go over, they 10, 10 or more. So you round up. You round up. Right? You want to explain what a push is? A push means a tie. So if you were to have them at nine wins mm-hmm. and you were to gamble, let's say 20 bucks to win 20, but they won nine, you would just mm-hmm. would get your 20 bucks back. And it's like it never happened. Now, if you were putting that bet in with the bookie, the bookie keeps the juice. Well, I wouldn't know anything Damn about bookies. bookies. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going over. What do you think? So I want to say over. Right. And part of that is because, you know, my dad's a Dallas Cowboys fan. He's one of those guys. <laughs> so I'm going to go over this time, mm-hmm. me personally. But I, I, I watched some of the season or some of the games from last season. I think that they're coming up a little better. Right. Not super confident, but I'm going to go ahead and, and go there over. are 17 games now instead of 16. Yeah. Which make it makes it more of a likelihood. I'd have to agree with you guys. See, if they had that 17th game, then they would have won last year. See, I'd have to. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm going to agree. I'm going to say 10 wins. 10 and 7 for Dallas. Okay. There you go. Very nice. You in agreement on that? You guys agree sure. with that? Sure. Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, right. You guys are good? Group think. <laughs> Mark's just going to be like the easiest one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So the next team they have is the Steelers, another team that's pretty popular. And uh, another they, team with six Super Bowls. Yeah. 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 So they Long have, ago, they have eight, eight and a half as the over under. Okay. Uh, they have a second year quarterback who was put in the middle of the season last year. Uh, they believe that they're going to have a chance at the Super Bowl this year with a young quarterback and a young team. Now it's all about health, and they play in a very tough division. Do we agree on that? I absolutely agree, and I'm going to go under on that. You're going to go under on I'm eight going, and a half wins? I'm going to go under on in eight a and a half. In a 17-game season. I'm gonna, yeah, I am. I think that – Is that because you don't like them? It has nothing to do with that. I I just think that Ben Roethlis, they were riding Ben Roethlisberger for so long, and he was the one that carried them to victory. And until they're Excuse able to you. replace him, I just don't see them. But dude, they got Mike Tomlin. I know. He's a great yeah. coach. He's a great oh. man, great mentor. I'm going under. Okay, I'm going over. I think they're going to win 11 games. They have eight wins and how many losses? So if you win eight wins, you go eight and nine. So that's just basic math. Basic. Yeah. Basic math. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go over. I don't know if they get a 10, though. I'm thinking like nine. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. We should keep track of this and see who's we right should. at the end of the year. So I'll tally it up at the end. At the end? Okay. Yeah. What about the Jacksonville Jaguars? At they nine and a half? Up, they came in strong last year. They went eight and three down mm-hmm. the stretch. That's They're, one of the teams that I watch. I watch all the Florida teams yeah. just because, you know, Florida. Florida yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I watch them and the Bucks and the Cowboys the most. Out of those teams. Out of all the teams. Okay. So those are the teams that follow. So they're at nine and a half. Mm. Thoughts on that? That's, that's, you know, what did they win last year? Nine? They went nine and eight. And they won their division. So they got a piss poor division. Yeah. Real bad. I, I think. The expectations are lofty. They said nine and a half is what? Nine and a half. That means they have to win ten if you go over. I don't know if they can win 10. Over. Over. I'm going to th- go over, too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, you just seem so confident with it. <laughs> <laughs> ABC, go, always gonna, be confident. I'm going to go under. I'm going to go under. I'm gonna think it's, I think it's going to be... I'm going to think it's going to be seven. seven. Seven wins. Wow. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so I say barely under at nine and eight. I think they repeat last year. I think they win 11 games. Whoa. I think Doug Peterson has sh- he showed in Philly what he could do. I mean, you also got to figure he won the Super Bowl with a backup quarterback. Um, they've made some moves on defense. Is that another knock defense. at the Patriots? 
It's another knock at the Patriots. Sounds like it. They want a backup quarterback against the Patriots. Anyway, continue. <laughs> it's, not a knock at, it's not a knock at the Patriots. Bill Belichick is the greatest coach of all time. Period. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but, you know, like you said, they're in a weaker division. I think Trevor Lawrence, I like Trevor Lawrence when he came out. Um, I have a friend of mine, I have a few friends of mine actually, you know, drilling up in Jacksonville that are diehard Jags fans. Uh, I just, I like Trevor Lawrence. I like Doug Peterson. I think I like what they do this year. And they should have beat the Eagles last year. So, you know, okay. I think that a few of those games that they probably should have won last year, I think they would they win those this year. Should have, would have, could have. But they didn't. But they didn't. They didn't. <laughs> Game of inches. All right. So how about the 49ers? They're at 10 and a half. Um, Remember, they got that, was he rookie rookie last Brock year? Purdy. Brock Purdy. Can he do it again? 49ers usually pull through, I feel like, for the most part. That's a really tough one to call. So 11 and 6 they have to go if they go over. Um, I think they could do 11. I think they can do I 11? I think they could, yeah. Okay. Well, if you look at the rest of their division, right, the Rams have been have had back-to-back fire sales. You know, they were all in right. um, a couple years ago when they won the Super Bowl, and since right. then they've been selling a lot. You have the Cardinals. The Cardinals have just been, you know, I don't have a lot of faith in them either. No, I don't either. The Seahawks. I like the Seahawks. They could go either way. Um, you know, losing Jimmy G, I know a lot of people didn't didn't put a lot of stock in him, but losing him, you know, he was able to help them out when, when Brock Purdy went down. Um, I'm going to go under on them. Under at 10 and a half. Under, under at 10 and a half. Okay. I'm going to go over 11. You said they lost Jimmy G. Where'd he go? What team? The Raiders. Right across the bay. Yeah. He went to the Raiders. Uh, coach of the Raiders was his offensive coordinator with the Patriots at one point. So he wants to feel comfortable, I guess. Next one is Seattle. Eight and a half. Now, they were nine and eight last year. Everyone thought they were going, what, four and 13? Yeah. Can they do it again? They're in that division you were talking about with the 49ers. Sure. What do you think about Geno? Is he going to be the guy? It seems like he fi- he finally found a scheme that... Well, his contract is broken down, the incentive laden, if you looked at it. So I think, yes. I think over, for me, I think they're going to win nine games. I'm going to agree with you on that one. I'm going to go over on Seattle. I think... You said they did eight last year, right? They went nine last year. Nine last nine year. Nine and eight. Made the playoffs. So, yeah. I think they could go over. I think they go over? I think they, I think they go... Have you seen that DK Metcalf guy on their team? Yeah. He's a freak. Yeah. They've always had, like, they, for the most part, they've always had some good talent on their team. I think that they had a rough patch, but I think that this might be the start of their comeback. Okay. And then everybody knows that's one of the toughest stadiums to play in with the 12th man. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's going to be a lot tougher to play there when your team's doing well. So if your team is tanking it, then... Not so much, but right, you That's know, it's true. tough to play there. So yeah, who wants to go to Seattle anyway? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, I do not. I sorry, guys. sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Those of you live in Seattle, Seattle, just not a fan. Yeah, of yeah, I'm yeah. just not. Yeah. For all you fans of the TV show Portlandia, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a different city, but everybody knows it's the same city. Yeah, <laughs> same city, different location. Same vibe. Speaking of a city, I don't want to go to uh, Buffalo. Um, sorry about that too. Um, uh, ten and a half wins over under. Uh, I believe they won twelve last year and thirteen the year before. I would say the Bills could go over. Yeah, I'd say over too. I'd say that's a obvious over. Yeah, yeah they don't have a local. Josh, your thoughts. Do we have a local here in Sanford? <laughs> Do we have a local here in Sanford that? Uh, yeah, Gabe Davis. He Gabe went Davis, Seminole yeah. High School. He, oh, actually, yeah. he, actually actually smokes, smokes he actually smokes at uh, Corona. Awesome. Just, a, just a plug about him, though. He, awesome. I, I know firsthand what he does for this community. Uh, he is all over the place. Like he's, he's building his own training facility in Winter Park. Amazing. He's got a bunch of people buying in. He gives to, he gives to Seminole High. He donates to the field. Like he, I don't even know if I should be putting him on blast because it may be one of them like not letting the left hand know what the right hand does type of things. Maybe he's, he's the type of guy where maybe he doesn't want everybody knowing it, but he. You know, he's just such a good guy, and he does so much for the community. All positive. Sounds good. Yeah, super positive guy. 
With that being said, I'm going under. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> And here's why. Sorry, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> and here's here's why I'm going to go under. Um, and, I, and and there are a lot of people that go to our high school, like staff members, students that are Bills fans just because of him. Um, but I'm going to go under because I think I think Brian Dable had a lot bigger impact on Josh Allen than people are realizing. I think last year some people started to take notice of it. They started to see how you know Danny Dimes was playing a little better last year, and they noticed who's how, Danny Dimes, so we know Danny Jones for with the New York Football Okay, Jones. gotcha. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go under on that. All right. So what about Kansas City at eleven and a half? I think that's a bit high for this. Really? This, I think so. Yeah. They've been doing really good, but these 11? are all a crapshoot because if someone gets hurt, yeah, right. Yeah. If, if, if those, those are the if teams Mahomes we... goes down, they're six win yeah. team. I'm going to go over on that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Andy Reid is, if he's not the best coach in the league right now. He's definitely the best eater. He's, yeah, he's, yeah definitely. Well, I mean, again, <laughs> I got pl- to gotta, gotta plug Brian Dable again because pretty big man. <laughs> Redhead, know, but, too. But did you know that Andy Reid ate through a stomach staple surgery? Did you know that? He had that and it didn't work. Like, what does that mean? He ate the surgeon? Like. <laughs> What, what exactly does he that ate mean? Right through it. Somehow he busted those staples open and just kept eating. <laughs> that boy was hungry. He was. That's what he called determination. And for that reason, over. Yeah. <laughs> when you have a coach that's that determined, oh, I'm going man. over. Because you supposed, might have well, the me. story supposedly when you get those staples, it gets you to the point where like if you try to eat over it, it makes you puke. So yeah. the fact that he, you know, he weathered the storm he, and he, he, kept, pushed he it down. kept it down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he finally coming up. He ate more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, the the torchbearer is now Patty Mahomes. Patty Patty Mahomes is a is a true generational talent. I believe above and beyond <clears throat> everybody else in the league. You have a lot of really good quarterbacks. Yeah, in the you're league. right yeah, about yeah. that. But but Patrick Mahomes is he he is Tom Brady right now. Yeah. Yeah. Calling he, it right he, now, injured mid season, they're done. I mean, of that's that, yeah. that he's like Michael Jordan, right? Yeah. Like every year, he should be the MVP. Mm-hmm. Are we, do we agree on that? Yeah, like just, yeah, yeah. No, no team has more lenient on one guy. Yeah. But because his wife and his brother are so annoying, I'm going under. <laughs> <laughs> that was also why I was going under. Too. That was part yeah, of the reason. Right, right, right. That's that's a little good personal. rationale yeah, over yeah, there. Thank you. It like was it. a little personal, like but I'm also calling I like the injury. That. I like that. Does anyone really care about the Vikings next? Does anyone care? Under. Their team? <laughs> under. Eight and a half wins with Kirk. Oh, under. Under? Under, yeah. I think that's a. Li- I think that's. Did you know actually- they were thirteen and four last year. Yeah, not this year. Not this year. <laughs> and that's the problem. Is I think. I think even going into the Giant game last year, giving the Giant their first playoff, the Giants their first playoff win in, in something like ten or eleven years. Um, I think a lot of people did say that a lot of their wins were suspect wins. The um, Giants, right? Well, <laughs> oh no, sorry, the Vikings. I'm sorry, the Patriots. Actually, yeah. <laughs> we didn't win that much. <laughs> we didn't win anything to be. Yeah, you guys didn't win anything to be suspect. I think it's tough to say a 13-win team is going to only win eight wins the next year. Um, I think Kirk Court. I think Kirk Cousins is a better than mid quarterback, slightly better than mid quarterback. Absolutely. I think he's an underrated quarterback. He's a rich one though. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over just because Co- I think Cousins is a better quarterback than he gets credit for, and I just don't. I don't think it, a 13-win team is gonna is gonna win. I think that's a year. bad division, so I'm gonna go over. Yeah. All right. All right, cool. So next we have the Chargers. They just signed Herbert to the largest contract in NFL history. And they are at only nine and a half. But they play in Kansas City's division. And what was the contract? The contract was five years, two hundred sixty two and a half million. Incredible. Damn. And he's twenty five. <laughs> two hundred and sixty two and a half. Yes. The half counts. The half does count. It sure does. <laughs> That'll be his charity money. <laughs> So I'm going to go over for them, mainly, too, because I went under for Kansas City. Right. Yeah. yeah. Nine yeah somebody's got to beat Kansas City, right? right. Exactly. I, I, I'm going to go over, too. I think that uh, they have too many weapons. I think that their coach's job is definitely on the line. <laughs> uh, he fired all his staff to keep his job. So, so this is like last-ditch effort. Last-ditch effort. Tons of motivation. Yep. And... I'm going over. Josh, your thoughts? 
I'm going under just because they're in Kansas City's <laughs> division. <laughs> I thought you were going to say just because I was going over. <laughs> Just because I want to be contrarian with a Patriot fan, I'm yeah, going under. Yeah, right. Uh, on, no. Now get to your comment and how it pertains to the Giants. I'm going to go under. I, just don't, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think Herbert's that good of a quarterback either. What? I don't think he is that good. I think he's. Uh, I don't think he's a 200. I don't think he's the highest paid player in the NFL ever quarterback. Well, well for now he is. Yeah. I mean, but is he that good, though, is what I'm saying. We have yet to see. He's played three years. Yeah. Okay. Um Moving on, I, I don't understand this one. I think this team isn't very good, but Atlanta, eight and a half. I, can you name anyone besides <laughs> on Atlanta, like Desmond Ritter, if, for, to our fan, is out there. They, he's a second-year quarterback out of Cincinnati. I mean, we should know more about him because our neighbors to the north, but, yeah. again, I'm with Oh, you. Desmond Ritter, I know. Oh, yeah, I got his poster. Yeah. That's right, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Support local brands. <laughs> what do you guys think? Eight Which, in case you didn't know, many of us right now are smoking Bessie cigars, Sanford grown. Excellent smoke, by the way. Yep, and you can buy it at BessieCigar.com. That's true. B E S A Cigar.com. Back no. to the question. <laughs> yeah, back to, back now to that we're done with the plug. <laughs> under. Under eight and a half. I'm going under eight. Well,. Ooh. I'm going to go under. <laughs> the the only trepidation I have is because it's such a horrible division. Like, they get okay. to play. Who's in that? Carolina? Carolina, the Saints, and Tampa Bay. Saints are winning that division. They're going to lose both to the Saints. Yeah, I'm still going to go under. I'm going yeah, under, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, I'll go under. <laughs> All right, here's everybody's favorite team, and I, you know, a lot of people, who they're talking about how it's the breakout year for their quarterback. And they just last year they just flat out sucked as the Bears, and I still think they suck. Um, seven and a half wins. That's the wager. Seven and a half. They were three and fourteen last year. Ooh, yeah. It's like the lower the line, the easier it is to go over, and the higher the line, the easier it is to go under. This one here, I'm going under. I'm go <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Okay. I'm going to go way under. It, yeah, I'm going to go under two. I'm going to go with five wins this year for them. Five and 12, right? Even though that division is, you know, they'll get swept by the Vikings and the Lions. And what are the, you know, we're, the Packers we'll are, get to the are Packers. still improving too. Yeah, we'll yeah. get to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm still going under. So how about Detroit? They're in that division. Nine and a half wins. They won nine, nine last year, right? I think just if you look at history, there's like a group of teams where it's just easy to say under. And, you know, the Jets, the Browns, and the Lions. And if, if somebody out yeah. there is a fan of those teams, just give me a call. I want to be friends with you because I know that you're loyal. <laughs> 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 because, you know, to, be, to, to admit that you're a fan of those teams, you, you, you're admitting that you're a loyal person. <laughs> <laughs> because they, they have such a been, backhanded compliment. It, it is a backhanded compliment, well, but well, it, you know what? Yeah, you know what? They could just be a fan for a few weeks, keep the tag in, and return the shirt. True, you know. <laughs> but I'm going under on them at nine and a half because it's Detroit. You know, they they had a decent year last year, but I'm and now under. people are out for them. Yeah, yeah, I'm going under too. I say nine wins at nine and a half. It's still under, right? Okay, good. All right, now. I got to be careful on this one. My wife's a Green Bay Packer fan. She's from Wisconsin. Um, so seven and a half wins. When was the last time the Packers were that low? <clears throat> I started forgetting they were a team, honestly. What's that? Wait, I started forgetting that they were a team. Really? Yeah. I actually visited Green Bay this year. I went up there. I went to the stadium. Absolutely beautiful. Love the franchise. Love everything about it. Just besides the Patriots, I really, really like them. And for that reason, I'm going under. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, had, they had a good run. I, I think, what did you say it was? Seven and a half. Can you name their quarterback? No, I can't. See, honestly. right, yeah. He, can any of us? I no, mean, I yeah, can and yeah. Josh can. But yeah. the guy no, since, up, since Aaron Rodgers, like, yeah. I can't tell you. Honest, I honestly can't tell you. That, and that was only four months ago. Yeah, that Rodgers I, I know, yeah. I'm going under on that one, too. Yeah. I think that, you know, Jordan Love is unproven. Aaron Rodgers is the one that really carried them to most of their success over the last several years, obviously far before them. I think with the unproven quarterback, I'm going to go under on it. Is there time to step back? Maybe we'll revisit them in the future. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, yeah. you know, they can milk all the cows up there and just stay busy because um, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's a two hour drive from Milwaukee. Nowhere. And it's up and it's up north, as they say. So Tennessee is next. Seven and a half. That seems a little low to me. I was going to say they could probably do at least eight. They got DeAndre yeah. Hopkins. Derrick Henry. You think they're going to go seven and ten? Again, if you look at their division. Who's in that division? The weak one? Jacksonville, Indianapolis. Colts, Houston. I think they could go eight or nine, honestly. Right, yeah. I, I'm going to go over. I'll go over on them, too, just because of Henry. Right. Okay. Derrick Henry, big yeah. man. Yeah. D-Hop. All right, so here's my least favorite team. They're next. The Jets. <laughs> the Jets are up. And if Aaron Rodgers couldn't handle the press in Green Bay, Wisconsin, <laughs> leave me alone. I'm going into a dark cave for four days yeah. this off season. Yeah. Nine and a half for the Jets. Nine and remember it's seventeen game season. Can they go ten and seven with that defense and Aaron Rodgers? I've loved Aaron I've loved Aaron Rodgers ever since he was under Jeff Tedford at uh at Berkeley, uh when he was at California when he was a Golden Bear. Um, I thought coming out of the draft, he was by far the best the best available quarterback. And the fact that the 49ers picked Alex Smith over him, uh, to me, was a, a shot in the face because, you know, he was he was like Cal Berkeley is literally right there. So I thought that was a poor move by the 49ers back then going for Alex Smith. Mm -hmm. um, who knows, maybe if he played quarterback under the same circumstances as Alex Smith, which is like the same offensive coordinator, he had like nine or ten offensive coordinators in his first eight years. So um, – they did everything they could to mess that guy up, Alex. Smith, okay, but Rodgers is so soft. I'm sorry yeah. that they brought in his offensive coordinator from Green Bay. So here's what happened: Green Bay, Green Bay's offensive coordinator was hired as the Denver coach. Denver s the bed last year, right? He's four and thirteen. They fired him. Then the Jets hired Nathaniel Hackett before they signed Rodgers because they wanted him. Rodgers to be attracted to going to the Jets. And that's the only reason he went. And so, you know, I just think the media gets to him. I think they go nine and eight. And so I'm going under at nine and a half. Yeah, for the Jets, it's, it's you know, for Sean Payton to say everything that he said as a coach was completely unprofessional. Just for those that don't know, he came out and he was talking about how horrible Hackett had coached Denver, how they were horrible. They were last in the league or close to last in the league at getting plays in. Talked about how much of a mess it was in the locker room. Talked about in uh, public. Yeah, in public. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, everything that he said, I said the day before. So you get some of these super teams where they go out, they spend. So he a lot called you before he said that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like he read my mind. He had ESPN. No, he. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's it was unprofessional for him to say it. A head coach should never. And I'm all about like people saying what's on their mind. I just don't. Th I don't see why an NFL coach would go after another franchise or or another NFL coach. Right. Um, but we've seen it time and time and time again, you know, the 2000 Redskins when they went out and they got Bruce Smith, they got Dion. Uh, and, and it was crazy because that's exactly what Sean Payton was talking about. And uh, myself and a buddy of mine were in the gym and I, we were talking about it at the end of the day, it's the jets and the jets. And I've said it to you, the Cleveland Browns could literally pick up the 2011 Patriots Everybody where they were, put them in Cleveland, and you know they would still they would win five games. So like until the Jets can prove as an organization that they're a winner, I know everybody's riding them this year, and there's a lot of hype, and yep, yep. it would probably be a safe bet to do the over. But until they prove anything to me, I'm going to go under on that. Okay, okay. Uh, next up is the Carolina Panthers. They drafted a rookie quarterback, and he has been named the starter, and they're at seven and a half wins. Mm -hmm. Well, what did they win last year? Five, four, three, two, one, one. Yep. They were the, they were the they were the first pick in the. Or they traded up. They're seven. at seven and a half. They're at seven and a half. Mm. Mm. With a rookie quarterback who's never taken a snap. Mm. Nah, I'd have to go under. Sounds like under. Yeah, under. 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 Okay. Five. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't. They don't need much attention. 
the Colts themselves, they have this Anthony Richardson kid from Florida who they're very high on, but the running back's holding out. What's the line? So at? I think that's why the line's only six and a half Oof. for the Colts. Hmm. I just think. Where's Colts- Peyton Manning? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say over just because of Florida. Good input, Jared. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm being serious. I was I was thinking I like the Richardson kid. I just think yeah, but, it's, he, but Josh, he's a rookie. Yeah, he's a freak too. I just they're but, all it, freaks in the NFL. Yeah, I mean he could. I think he could. Ask be, Tim Tebow what happened when he tried to pull his. <laughs> well, he also had a 10 second release, so you know. Yeah, but he would run it, and Ray Lewis broke his ribs. And then he still ran it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, true. I'm going to go under on that just because, and here's why: just because Jim Irsay is causing such a stir, such a the with coke, the running back out there, cokehead owner, yeah. It's uh, I think causing all that controversy and you know, the underhanded business with the you know with his with hiring his friends, his coaches, and and yeah. all that stuff last year. Who's their coach? I'm not even sure. Who is they, it Jeff Saturday again? Is it still him? Yeah, I think he hired him. Yeah, I know it was underhanded, or a lot of people were a little confused by it, but yeah. Um, I'm going to go under on them just because it sounds like they got a lot of locker room drama out there. Yeah. What about Denver at eight and a half? Hmm. Four and 13 last year. Sean Payton's running his mouth. He's got Russell Wilson, who's kind of soft. So under. I'm going to go over. Really? Over eight? Was yeah, line? I, eight think, line eight. I don't think I don't think I don't think Russell Wilson is as bad as he played last year. And despite the fact that Sean Payton said all those things and it was unprofessional, everything he said was right. You just like his wife. <laughs> I don't even Ciara, know who Ciara, the singer or whatever. Oh, is, is that Sean that Payton's wife? Not Sean Payton, Russell Wilson. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, Sean Payton be pulling if, he, if that was him. <laughs> I'm sure he could probably. He could probably. He makes 15 If he could pull her, I'd say over. But <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, right. Yeah, it's a, yeah, right. If the coach is pulling Ciara, I'm going over. Yeah, I'm going over every time. But, but he's not. So. But he's not. His so, confidence, so, confidence isn't there. Yeah. So under. <laughs> What about Miami at nine and a half? Uh, if that guy can what, stop hitting his head against the ground. Two that's open. a big if, though. That's a really big question mark. <laughs> nine and a half, you said? Nine and a half. What did they do last year? Nine and eight last year. And he didn't play in five games. I, it's Florida. Let's give it a chance to say over. Well, I think the odds Most are good Most people anyway. agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I'd say way. over, yeah, regardless. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm going to say they're going to win the AFC East over Buffalo, and I think they're going to win 12 games. I'm going to go over on them with the caveat, you know, if Tua could stay, if he could stay yeah. healthy. Yeah, That's if he stays caveat, healthy. Here I mean, come, you could say that for any team. So Now, here comes an insult I see coming Josh's way. <laughs> the New York Giants, who had their best year in a little bit last year, just signed their quarterback to $40 million a year for four years. That's forty million dollars a year for four years, hundred sixty million. That's seven and a half wins. It's kind of insulting. Yeah, insulting, insulting, look, insulting you know, it would be that high. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking like a true patriot. Oh baby, wait till we get to the Patriots. Wow. I'm going over on that one. That's for an sure. easy over yeah. for me. Is Saquon playing? He is, right? Yeah, yeah. So. yeah they- it ended up going from ten million to eleven million with, with including incentives. I just think the t- the tight end they got from the Raiders, Waller. Um, you know, people that have been watching the camps have been saying that that Danny Dimes has just been rifling the ball to him. That's non-stop. Daniel Jones again. Daniel if you Jones. don't know who that is, um, I think uh, I think Go they Duke. have a lot of slot receivers. It's like the team of slots, but uh, they have a good defense too. They have a solid defense. Yeah, I mean the corner could use some help. I think they could still use an animal at, at linebacker, but I think they're getting there. And I mean, don't discount Cole Beasley. You know, Cole Beasley was the uh, was a very good wide receiver just a few years ago with with Brian Dable as the um, as the quarterbacks coach out there, or I'm sorry, the coordinator out there. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go easy over on that one. I'm gonna go ten wins for them this okay. year. Okay. Yeah, we can agree over. Yeah, I think so. I think okay. the next team. Uh, we really don't care about, but Arizona's at four and a half. That's kind of wow. embarrassing. Jeez. They have a team? They, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> they do. The Cardinals. Um, Beautiful stadium. One of the best stadiums I've ever, I've ever been in. Yeah, they hold the Super Bowls there. Um, so four and a half. I, I, Man. 
Man, that's a little low to me. I, I'm going over. I think they win six games. I was going to say six, at least. Yeah, I'm going to go four and a half is just so low. It's just, you know, the odds are in your That's favorite. insulting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the lowest one on the board here. Um, I mean, hey, someone's got to do it. I know, but still, <laughs> the only reason they won four games last year is because Kyler Murray went down with an injury, um, which is the starting quarterback. Um, so, wait a minute. You're saying that he's that much of a detriment to the team, or you're saying him getting injured is why they – that's why they yeah, lost so much. Yeah. Okay. yeah. How about Baltimore at ten and a half? Oof. Where is Baltimore, by the way? <laughs> Mar- is it Maryland or Virginia? Maryland. Maryland. Right? Maryland. 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 Yeah. Maryland. <laughs> I was going to say man, like, ten and a half. Are they going to win eleven games Ooh. with Lamar Jackson getting that huge two hundred sixty million dollar contract? For five years, I mean, I think in the NFL the coaches count more than any other. Really, great coach, any other great coach, incredible yeah. coach. He's won. He's been there. He's won it. Ten yeah. and a half is a lot of wins. They're not. They're not KC. Yeah, I think all your points are valid. That's why I'm going under. <laughs> it's exactly. And I'm that's, going ten. I think ten wins is a, is a really good a good number. But I wouldn't be surprised if they broke the ten and a half. It's a really tough one. I'm going to go under on that one too. Okay, thoughts? I think under, under. on the safe side. Unders on the safe side. Yeah. Okay. The Washington, what are they called? The now? Washington people. The people, the football team. The, Com- the commanders. Washington. The commanders. Yeah. yeah. Commanders. Oh, is it commi- they, they changed, I actually couldn't remember. Yeah. They changed the name, right? No. Yeah. Commanders. Right. So they're six and a half. Mm. Oof. I'm going to say under. Because of the wow. mascot change. Really? That's fair. That's, <laughs> That's fair. fair. They have new ownership. Do they really? Led by Magic Johnson. I'm a Celtic fan, so I'm going under. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were they at? Six and a half. I'll, yeah, I'll go under. I go under. That's a really, really tough division. I mean, is the a- what do you think? AFC East or NFC East the toughest division in football? Or do you think there's another division outside of those two that's tougher? Uh, yeah, I think the AFC North is the toughest. But anyway. I mean, what's the toughest division in the NFC? Got to be the East, right? Um, it's between the East and West. It can't be the South or the North. Why not? Oh, I'm just we kidding. Already, we already <laughs> talked about all the, pretty much all the yeah, teams. Yeah, the East, definitely. The Eagles yeah. in there. The Eagles, the Eagles the best are team. T- always as much the Eagles as the best team in football. Yeah. Uh. I hate to tell you that. Uh, speaking of them, they're up next at 11 and a half wins. Mm. They were 14 and three last year. Oh. Should have won the Super Bowl. And they added but more players. Man. I think they could go. We said it was 11. 11 and a half. I think they you got to remember the half. Well, yeah. yeah. So they got to win 12 wins or more. <laughs> I think they could. I think you go over, honestly. Honestly. Okay. I think they, yeah. I think they still have the momentum going for them. I'm going to go over. I think they're going to win 12. I'm not going over. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I, can't I, can't, I can't do it. And this is one where I'm just going to have to admit my bias. I know that I'll admit that they, they realistically, that might be if that's not the best organization in football. I mean, they like Jeffrey Lurie is such a good owner the GM. It's funny, too, because when you I, if you ever want comedy gold, you got to listen to Philly talk radio because they absolutely hate ownership. They hate the GM. You know, they hate everybody on the team. They hate the coach. And That's the, for all their teams, by the way. Yeah, yeah. They hate their stars. They hated Lindros. They hated Mike Schmidt, arguably the greatest third baseman of all time. Right. Um, they hated Charles Barkley. They really do hate everybody. It's just funny. They love them. And Wouldn't then, you if you lived in Philadelphia? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, Sorry, Philly fans. Good food, Sorry, though. Philly. Great um, food. Absolutely. Oh, food. Great yeah. food. Yeah. Great food. South Philly. Um, by the well, way, Josh is from South New Jersey, so... It's it's right southern New Jersey, yeah. so it's interesting Philadelphia being right there, the hatred for Philadelphia <laughs> really is interesting. He's <laughs> how you became a Giant fan. Yeah, I was raised by a Giant fan. That's why. Okay, yeah. how about the Rams at six and a half? Oof. Are Stafford, they that bad? Stafford's bad. Ba- uh, back. Stafford's back. Are they that bad? Are they a six and a half win? Is is a team that won the two the Super Bowl two years ago? A six and a half win team this year was the fire sale that bad? No, I think they go over. I think they win eight games. 
Yeah, I'm going to go with an over. I would agree. One. I don't think they're yeah, that bad. Unfair. I don't think they're a six and a half win team. I don't think they go. I don't think they go six and eleven. Okay, so, so go next up is the Las Vegas Raiders, and this is kind of surprising. Six and a half. I think. I think there's a lot of people who aren't big fans of McDermott. McDaniel's. McDaniel, sorry. I think there's a lot of people who aren't aren't. Yeah, because he's a Patriot of offensive coordinator and won six Super Bowls. Well, no, I just think as oh, whoops, like sorry. being <laughs> being objective, and I actually I have no pro- I respect. He's PG not a head to, coach. It's it could just be like one of them you know North Turner guys back in the he, day. He North just Turner better. went everywhere as a coach and couldn't win, but he was an incredible coordinator. <clears throat> um, you never know. That, now technically, this is his third stint, right? Technically, uh, well, he was a coordinator in St. Louis. He wasn't the head coach. He was Denver. I, so he was, but didn't somebody else sign him? And then he Colts, he, and then he yeah, but he didn't had, actually coach a game. No, they had a five-hour meeting and gave him the highest-paid assistant. Yeah, six and a half, man. I love Jimmy G, though. I love that new stadium. Is I he love healthy? that city. Is he healthy? That's a good. That's a big if too. And I think that's an if where like you could say an if about um, really anybody, any quarterback. But I think. If you're going to look at the quarterback positions and big Fs, big Fs, you got to go with Tua, and you got to go with Jimmy G. Can they stay healthy? Okay, I just this shocks me. Uh, the next one, uh, no offense to the city of Cleveland, but nine and a half wins. Under. What have they done lately? <laughs> what have they done? What have they Period. ever done? <laughs> I mean, you got to go back. Not to the Bernie city, Cozart, just man. a football team. Yeah, nothing against the city. It's just as a franchise, they're just not good. I'm going easy under on them. I think that's no an easy under. Yeah, yeah. You guys too? Okay. The Saints, all of a sudden, nine and a half wins. Mm. With, De- with Derek Carr there now. The Saints, though? The Saints. Can they win 10 games in that division? That's the best thing they have going for them. Is it's, can we agree that that's the worst division in football? Yes. Then, it, yeah. I, uh, I'm going over with 10 slightly. I'll, I'll agree with you on that. I'll go over. Okay. Next team, over. I mean, wait. New England, <laughs> seven and a half. <laughs> what an insult. Over. Way over. Big surprise this year. They could year. do more than seven, I think. Yeah. They, so, yeah. They, they, I mean, in the last 20 years, there's no other organization in sports that you can compare it to that. I, I just. I just and I you just, got the best coach of all time. And then you got Bill O'Brien back. And former Penn State guy. Yeah, so there's another reason why. Um I'm going over. Yeah, I'm definitely going over. I think yeah, you're definitely going over. Yeah, yeah seven's yeah. a little low. I mean yeah. Bill Belichick could have you as quarterback and I would go over. Maybe maybe <laughs> maybe by the yeah. grace of God they'll have some ginormous contract bring Tom Brady back. Just yeah. one more just one more time. By the way, they're uh, honoring think... him the f- before the first game. Uh they're gonna unveil a statue. Uh, everyone's going to be real happy, and then they play the Eagles. So, uh, you know, it's not going to be there. <laughs> great start. Uh, great start. I don't know about the ending. Um, I mean, if it is a great ending, though, what a start to the year. Oh, well, for, yeah. For everybody. Me yeah. with the Phillies. Lo- the yeah, and me and, you know, and you with Marco. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Houston, six and a half. We got three teams left. Under. Under? Under. Rookie quarterback. No, you, you don't think seven? No. Nah, I'm going to go under on Houston. Even though Rookie it's a bad coach. division, it's really bad organization. Rookie coach. Yeah, under, because Colin Cowherd said over, and I'm not a fan of his. Sorry, Colin, if you're listening <laughs> in Los Angeles. Seven and a half? Six and a half. Houston. Rookie yeah. quarterback, rookie under. coach. Under. under. Okay. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Ooh, what are they at? Ooh. Six and a half. Oh. <clears throat> Baker Mayfield's your quarterback, though. My bias for Florida? Over, right? I would go over. over. I'm I'm over. I would go yeah. over six for sure. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go over. I think that's a little a little low. They get to play Atlanta and Carolina, you know, two times each. I'm gonna go over. Yeah. And and, and lastly, uh the Cincinnati Bengals. They're quite high at eleven and a half. Oof. Ooh. Probably a little too high. Yeah. Joe Burrow that, just got carted off the field a couple. Days I know. Ago. Yeah, is that's he gonna, too high. Is he gonna? Yeah. he'll so be he ready. Missed two games. He's a great last name, by the way. I love that last name. It's the greatest last. Yeah, Burrow. Yeah, <laughs> almost as good if it had the S at the end. I know. Something happened there. I don't know. His family came with Mayflower. Something happened. <laughs> they missed the S. You know, it sucks. 
I'll talk to him about it, though. We'll yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I'm going to go under. I'm going to go under on that, too. 11 and 6, not 11 and a half. 11 and 6. I'm going to go yeah. under on that, too. Great quarterback. I would say, would you say he's the second best quarterback in the league? 100%. I'm still going to go under on that just because he may not be there for two games. And you talk about him getting hurt, right? He's up for the next big contract, mm -hmm. right? And so you talk about the NFL where they have these non-guaranteed contracts and guys get hurt. What sport puts your health at risk more? You know, they can just, if you read these contracts, I said five years, 262, but I think only 100 for that quarterback on the Chargers, I think only 140 is guaranteed. If he gets hurt. So they're kind of misleading. Unlike baseball. Yeah. Where you just fart Which, around and just make 40 million. And that's if, if you want to make the biggest argument for communism versus capitalism. Baseball, everything's guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> baseball, everything's guaranteed. The biggest <laughs> argument. <laughs> I mean, you look at the product that baseball puts out as a baseball fan. I mean, I would say hockey puts out a better product. I don't know if basketball does. I, I would say they're both kind of close. but Basketball puts out a global product, so they're really big in China. But is it a quality yeah. product? Well, I don't know. You've got all of Ch the whole world. You know, you got the best players in the world are now playing in the NBA. Yeah. Right? It's from all over. So that's a good is, point. So yeah, you are true. pulling, as far as the competition, it's the stiffest competition, smallest roster size. So that's a good point, too. Yeah, you're... you're yeah. I still think football puts out the best product. Definitely. The team 100%. that they like it's yeah. you know, every given Sunday or any given Sunday could be your last day. I mean I it think, could be your last win. Yeah, I think that's patented. You can't say that in a great movie, movie, by the way. Yeah, yeah. a movie. Can you great say speech? Any Pacino. Games, uh, Pacino? <laughs> yeah. Whew. LL Cool J. LL Cool J was in that. That's right. Yeah. Great. Cameron Diaz. Yeah. I I wouldn't know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> really? For the record. For the record. <laughs> just, for, just for the record. So, yeah, those are our picks for the uh, NFL. We're going to go back and at the end of the year, see who got them. See what happens. See what happens. Yeah, I let's mean, revisit them. Revisit them. And, see who uh, came out with the most w. It'd be interesting during the year to see where they're at. You know, like, he said over. and We could do like a halfway uh, meeting. Yeah, like, see how it's going so yeah. far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely. Um, but, yeah, that's all we got for football right now. Halfway when the Giants already are over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And probably yeah. the Patriots. Do you agree still. that the Patriots will be 6-2 and two probably by then? I, I would say so. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Halfway yeah. point, yeah, it's yeah, possible. It's yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. I think they're going to take it all the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How'd you enjoy your basic cigar? It was fantastic. It really was. Um there's no bad aftertaste, right? Yeah. I mean, a lot of these, you yeah. get the bad aftertaste. Um, I don't know. How much do those cost usually around? 13 for that size. Really? Yeah, That's yeah, a yeah. good price. Very good price. That? that was the Toro. Oh, okay. Yeah, the so Toro? 13 for the Toro. If you get a short Robusto, it's 11.50. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I had a friend of mine say that, you know, he loves smoking cigars, but he just hates the fact that he tastes them for the next couple of days and... Maybe he just wasn't smoking a basic cigar. That's, That's absolutely the fact. That is <laughs> a fact right there. How'd you like yours? It's good. Unfortunately, with this cigar, it's one of those that does have the aftertaste. It but does. I do enjoy the Julius Caesar. Of the Diamond Crown line, I always tell them uh, I only smoke the Julius Caesar when it comes to Diamond Crown. So, appreciate it. Good pick. You guys? What did you smoke? Guys. He smoked the Besa. Yeah. 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 Obviously. Yeah. Well, how about, how'd you like the United? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um... Smooth flavor. It does have a little aftertaste, but it's not too bad. Yeah, you owe me one of those now. <laughs> that's, that's mine. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate you guys for coming on. And then we're going to do a couple follow ups here, see how Thank we're you, doing. Yeah. And then leave a comment too, what you guys think. You know, if we're way off or if you think you agree with us, make sure you subscribe to the podcast so you can stay updated with when we upload new episodes and go to our link tree as well. All our social media is on there. But thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Cheers. Right. See you.